Welcome to this short video on opening FPOD files. Um, this is actually quite straightforward. If you click on the screen, it will invite you to open the FPOD files, but a good idea is to show the menu with the um, usual methods. And it's set to open two FP1 files and two FP3 files if you click open a file set. So if we do that, then we can select um, the file we want. And there we are, we've got these two copies of the FP1 at the bottom, two of the FP3. Um, and we can uh, fit to screen, that'll be six hours, a uh, three pixel bar. Let's just look at five minutes here, show from start. Um, okay, not not a lot of detections there. There's some porpoise detections here, which we could zoom in on. Um, so if we do that, um, it's mapping the file. That generates a little file called a dot <coughs> .f1m or .f. 3m file you don't have to worry about those at all um they they are all in the background um so we're seeing here the frequency on this panel the amplitude on this one then the q class and the amplitude again and then the clicks per second um we could change uh, that to to show just amplitude. Um, say we now want to see the clicks per second at the same time, we can go back to the files page and we can open up to two unrelated files. Well, we're only going to open one and it'll be an FP3, so we can just change that to a three. Open and that's already set to clicks per second. So if we do refresh, now we can see the the click rate pattern in 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 each of these trains. Um, okay, we can use F6 to pull this down so that we can see it. Um, so it's really very straightforward. And what you can do if you want to is you could open six fp3 files um so um you can um just select them and there they are and then you you could look at say the, the frequency shown by uh, that applies to all of them you could fit to screen so that is going to fit all the files on the screen um show from start there they all are they're different periods of time and um if you wanted to graph them to compare the frequencies you'd set all the graphs to the same and so you've got a very quick comparison so the the message here really is um Two FP1s and two FP3s is the default, but do whatever suits your needs. And if you had a three file um, preference here, um, when you do that, it'll it'll open um, it'll open three files. And if you do it again, um, you've got it'll fit in the other three on top because it's got a total of six slots. So basically, feel free to juggle around with this in, in any way you like. Okay, I hope that makes it clear enough. Thanks.